Hello everyone, welcome to Laya Tips. In previous video, we completed the CRUD operation for these roles. But there is something that we didn't add to this card component, which is a loading indicator. Suppose, let's say, if we are searching something over here, let's say admin, but we are not showing any loading indicator over here before the data is changed. So in this video, we'll be adding that loading indicator which means that we will be learning about on before and on after events on Inertia.js and some animation tips on the Tailwind CSS and I think it will be really really fun. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud, or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server. And it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So let's get started. Now let me go to the VS code and we'll go here inside this use filters because we are getting the items from the use filters. I'll go inside this use filters.js and just before we have fetched the items over here let me just say here const is loading equals to false now if we go here in the inertia js documentation then we can see here on before and on finish will make use of that so i'll just go here and copy this and i'll paste that over here and also i'll copy this and paste it over here this on before will be executed before sending ajax request to the server and this on finish will be executed after the ajax request has been sent and it is completed so before sending the ajax request will show the loading indicator which means each loading will be true and after finishing the request will say is loading equals to false like this and we are not using this widget so i'll just do here empty open and close brackets after this we need to also return this is loading from here like this now let me go to this index.view file and let me import it over here like this is loading now in order to show the loading indicator or the progress bar we need to pass this to the card component we will be directly implementing the loading indicator on the card component so here is the card component i'll just say here is dash loading equals to is loading inside this card component i'll go here and i'll define some props so i'll say here define props and is loading will be type boolean and default will be false now let us go to tailwind elements and let us grab this progress bar code i'll just click on this and copy the code from here and i'll add it over here like this let me format it and now we'll only show this if is loading is true let me copy this and let me say here b if is loading like this which means that if loading is true, then it will show, otherwise it will not show. Let me remove this width from here. Also for now, let me also remove this is loading from here and also let me run npm run was. This is the alias for me. Now let me go to the browser over here and let me refresh the page over here. And we can see this at the top. We want to show this as a loading indicator. For that, we will be using animation. and. If we go here in the animation section of the Tailwind CSS, you can look the URL over here. We can create our custom animation like this. If I just scroll at the bottom over here, then we have to define these two things. So I'll just copy this thing from here and I'll go here in the Tailwind config.js file and here inside the extend, I'll just paste that code over here. Let me format it. And we also need some keyframing in order to show that loading indicator so for this also let me just go here and add it over here like this i think it is inside extends yeah we are inside this extend okay now we'll say here 
progress here also let me say progress and this progress this name and this name should match okay so i'll write here progress for let's say one second and it will be is dash in out and infinite which means that the loading indicator will be shown infinitely now let's say for the zero percent we'll say width will be zero percent and margin left will also be zero percent which means that this thing will be on the left hand side over here no border will be shown and now if it is at hundred percent let me just copy this thing from here and paste it over here and width will be let's say 50 percent and margin left will be 100 percent which means that whenever we go over here then this thing will move to the total right hand side but width will gradually increase to 50 percent which means that the loader will start from the small and it will gradually grow bigger but it will move to the right hand side indefinitely now in order to use this we need to go here in this card and if i just show you over here in the tailwind documentation then we can use it like this like animate dash and name of this animation which is progress you can see here the name over here the animation name is progress so we'll go here and let's say animate dash progress like this now let me go here and refresh the page then we can see here this animation but let's say whenever it starts and after let's say about 20 or 30 percent we want this margin left to be over here and then only to move i think it will look a little bit nicer so i'll go here in the tailwind config and let's say at let's say 20 percent we don't want to modify the width so i'll just remove it and i want to keep this margin left at zero percent even at the 20 percent there will be a slight difference but i think it will look nice so let's look at that i'll just refresh over here then you can see here it just looked like it is just stopping a little bit and then going forward now let us only show it if is loading is true so i'll go here in the card and i'll just write here v dash if loading like this and we are passing this is loading from here index is loading which is in turn coming from this use filters dot js which is from here and we are setting it here let me save it now let me go back to the web browser and let me search for something let's say admin i think we saw a little bit of loading over here but we want to show that loading over here so let us fix that as well index instead of adding is loading over here let me just add that is loading over here now let me just refresh the page and let me just remove this n then we saw a loading for a little bit while but let me show you a trick by which we can slow our network speed and see that loading indicator i'll just show you this console under this network tab we can go here in this no throttling and we can see a bunch of options over here we can click on this slow 3g in order to make our network connection a little bit slower so now if i just go here and search for admin then we can see this loading indicator over here which means that this loading indicator is working perfectly fine and from next video we'll be starting crowd operations for the permission module